How is company growth changing your advertising agency and public relations needs? Well, as we get bigger, you know, I think the values stay the same. We're still about serving small companies and we're still about design and the focus on the quality and the, the premium products that we make. That definitely is all the same. What we stand for is the same. But the challenges of communicating to that broad international audience with a relatively small internal team uh, is, is very difficult. You know, about three or four weeks ago, we sold to our millionth customer. Um, and we've sold to people in 200 countries. And we're a manufacturing business. Uh, you know, you require a lot of scale and, and investment to get to that, that sort of stage. And also, you don't want to get caught up in your own dogma about who you are and what you do. So working with third parties and bringing them into the discussion to help craft the message that you want to tell, that you want to communicate, how that turns into the creative and then media agencies who can go and procure the media for you. I mean, we can do our own PPC buying, but we can't do our own TV buying. You know, we're, we're just not at that scale. So you absolutely need other people to help you with that. I mean, I could talk a bit about the process. We, we, we did several agency pitches. We, we brought in a, an, inter, an external expert to help us do that, someone that had done that for many other companies in the UK, a great guy called James Burgess. Um, and James, to help, James helped us define the creative brief, run the pitch meetings, select the, the agency. We used an agency called Creature, who are literally... 100 feet away from our office. It's quite amazing. We had no idea that they, that they were that close. It had nothing to do with choosing them, but it was just very convenient uh, in the end. Um, and there were a couple of things that, that I was insistent upon at the beginning of, the, of that whole process because there's something very significant about going on TV in the sense that what it says to your customers about how big you are. And we're still a very small company and we sell to small companies. And I didn't want Moo to come across as being a big company on TV. Um, I didn't really want it to come across as being anything really about Moo as a business. I wanted it to come across as being um, about our customers and their successes. And Creature, the, the agency, helped us you know, deliver that. So the, the, the couple of things that I, that I said was, Let's not put anything on TV. There's a temptation to try and do something that, you know, shouts and get, is memorable, but is a bit embarrassing. Uh, and th there are lots of companies I could speak of in the UK, in particularly in the UK market, who have kind of annoying jingles and, you know, stuff that, that is very memorable, but does nothing for your brand. So I, I said, don't do anything that will make any of us cringe or, or you know, feel embarrassed by. Let's, we really want to be proud of what we put on TV. And the second thing was, we really want to showcase our customers. We don't want this to be really about us per se. We, we, we're, in an, we're an enabler. We help, you know, we help customers to succeed. So let's tell that story rather than talking about us. Um, so that was the, con those are the constraints. And, you know, we went out, we, we worked with the agency, they did a great job. They did some things we thought were really exciting. We said, we're going to go with you guys. And then we use media buyers in the US and UK to actually buy the TV. That's hugely expensive. You know, it's a massive investment. But the great thing is that it, it puts you in a place where people who may never, ever search, people who may never, ever be retargeted or look at a display ad, or may never look at an affiliate link, will see you. And it, it really opens a whole lot of doors that, that other stuff just can't do. So it was a big process, but hugely beneficial for the business and a huge learning experience. And it's great. I, I think it's great to go and talk with an external company about who you are and hear their thoughts. I mean, that just that as an investment of time and effort was, was really eye-opening.